everyone, welcome back to another video of Oregon Coast Toy Fanatics. I know it's been quite a while since I put out a video last, um, I'd say at least a month. Um, but I'm back again, finally. Got a few things that I've picked up in the last month, month and a half that I can go over. Um, got some uh, Star Wars figures, some TMNT figures, and uh, a couple other things. So we'll just get right into it. Um, Got a couple of Star Wars Powers of the Force, mid-90s Star Wars figs. Went over to the uh, second-hand store, uh, the town over, where they have a pretty good-sized lot of uh, Powers of the Force figs. I've been slowly picking up uh, one here, two there, every once in a while. I did head, go ahead and pick up these two. I got the uh, Powers of the Force Stormtrooper, which I believe is a 1997. Uh, made by Hasbro. Um, it is on card, unopened. I paid five dollars for it. These all actually were uh, ten dollars a piece here not too long ago, and apparently they decided to drop the price, see if they get rid of them. So now they're all five dollars, which makes me extremely happy. I can start picking more of them up. But yeah, there's a stormtrooper. On uh, Sunday, I also picked up this uh, Powers of the Force Boba Fett. On card unopened for five bucks so that was a nice little pickup for that day I had actually gone in that day to pick up a couple of powers of the force micro machine set uh, play sets that I had been eyeballing for months and months and finally decided to pull the trigger on them and got there and they were gone I knew I should have picked them up the first day I saw them but of course you know me trying to play long game this time didn't pay out but super happy with those two um, I picked these up uh, probably a month and a half ago, so it's been a while. I've been on the show to collect a little, a little bit of dust since then. And I get them uh, hung up with other stuff. Um, so about a month ago, I went to my local secondhand stores here in town. I first went to a place where I frequently go for uh, comic books. He's got some Conan comic books I've been picking up there every once in a while. Yeah, but he also happened to have a big bin full of loose toys. Loose figures. So I started going through and I found a couple of TMNT figs. I did pick one of them up. And this is 1990's Scumbug from TMNT. Um, he was in a lot rougher shape. A lot dirtier, a lot filthier when I got him. I cleaned him up a little bit. He's still... Um, a little bit dirty, has no accessories with them. He's missing a couple pieces, I think. Um, so hopefully I can get some accessories or, by chance, down the road, find a better looking one. But I'm super happy to have him in my ever-growing TMNT collection of vintage uh, figures. And then about half a block down from the road from that place is another secondhand store that I frequent a lot for a lot of things uh, video games, comic books, action figures, uh, anything pop culture related. I usually go there to check his stuff out. He deals in a lot of that stuff. Um, I happen to find another Powers of the Force figure. This one is C3PO. Yeah, ended up paying $4 for this, I think. Four or five dollars, I can't remember. I think I got a, a lot deal uh, from the stuff I picked up. Super happy to add that to my Powers of the Force lineup. Um, really starting to get a few of them in my collection. Hopefully, I can uh, get them all after a while. It's gonna take me a while, but I'll get there. And I also found this TMNT car. This is the bumper car, vintage TMNT vehicle. It is absolutely missing everything on it. There's not one accessory attached to it. But I only paid a dollar for it. So I'm super happy to pick that up. And eventually I'll slowly accumulate uh, all the pieces to that. And in fact, yesterday uh, I had a buddy of mine message me saying he had a couple of accessories for it. That he was going to send me for it. So I'm super happy and appreciative of that. To help get this looking back to normal. But uh, yeah, I was super happy to pick those up at that second hand store. I think I paid. I think I spent a, an entire $10 in there because I picked these up 
plus uh, a couple of comic books. So I was super happy to uh, pick that up in a lot and uh, get a good deal on them. That was about a month ago. I picked those up. And then a few weeks ago, um, of course, I can't go out looking for stuff and not pick up pop figures. So I had to stop in at Walmart and I looked at their pop section. And of course, they had the Al Bundy. I had to have it. I absolutely love Married with Children. It's such a great show. Uh, loved watching it as a kid. I still watch it today. Um, but yeah, they had the Al Bundy. And of course, he's in his typical Al Bundy fashion got his hand in his pants and a remote in his, in his hand so love love that um of course eventually i want to pick up the other ones the peggy the kelly and the bud bundy are out there still somewhere so eventually i'm going to pick those up and then after i went to walmart i stopped by gamestop which is becoming a habit with me now when it comes to looking for pop figures and i made my most expensive pop purchase and biggest pop purchase there i picked up this gigantic thing this is the uh star wars movie moments encounter on endor you have a c-3po in his little chair right next to the ewok i think i ended up paying twenty dollars for this so definitely by far my most expensive and biggest uh pop pickup this is like three regular pops put together size wise I have no idea where I'm going to put this yet, but super, super happy to have it. Honestly, the pop figures are becoming an addiction to me. i got a massive collection now, and I just can't stop. But that's okay. They're easier to uh, store and display because you can stack them up. But yeah, that's my, uh, my haul from the last probably... Uh, month and a half got a few a few things to, that I went over super happy to have all the stuff that I do have and uh, don't know when I'll be out uh, picking again anytime soon I'm trying to uh, save my money for some other things but uh, I'll try to get another video out again a lot sooner this time but yeah that's it for this video hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and hope you guys liked the stuff I picked up. Uh, leave your comments of what you think, what you liked, what you didn't like, your opinions on this stuff I picked up. And uh, remember to go check out my Facebook group under the same name, Oregon Coast Toy Fanatics. I got several friends on there that are diehard toy collectors, been doing it way longer than I have, I mean way longer, and have some really cool stuff in their collections and are constantly picking stuff up. Go check out what they've been picking up. Again, that's Oregon Coast Toy Fanatics on Facebook. And, uh, like I said, don't know when the next time I'm going to get on again for another video, but hopefully it will be sooner. Uh, until next time, guys, take care easy.